Domestic protection orders are a key part of trying to protect people from stalkers and also today when we talk about social media and that is something that the Ohio Senate passed 32 to nothing today, strengthening the domestic protection order and that is Senator Kevin Bacon's bill. Why is it so important and let's step back for just a minute. What does your legislation do to strengthen this? It's very simple. Uh, Defendants are avoiding service of protection orders. They're hiding inside when someone's knocking at the door. If they know they're going to get served, they ignore, they avoid, um, they flee. So in situations where they know there's a protection order, they have what is called actual notice of the protection order, and the prosecutor proves that they recklessly violated its terms, they're going to be deemed to have been served with the order. So they can no longer escape it, um, with, which is really a legal loophole. So almost as long as it's issued, then it's in effect and they should not be within a certain distance or a certain area of whoever the person, uh, whoever the order protects. Each protection order is, a, is, is on a case-by-case -case basis. Upon it being issued, it won't necessarily take effect, but if they have actual notice, and that could mean many different, you could have many different examples, but let's just have one example in State v. Smith, which was the Supreme Court case that started right here in Columbus. In this situation, the assailant um, had a protection order in place. He was already charged with another crime, domestic violence or otherwise. And he goes to the victim's household and she shows him the order and says, I have a protection order in place. You must leave my property. So he knew there was an order in place. What he should have done then is taken the time to go find out what was in the order. He didn't. Instead, he came back the next day, broke into her house um, and beat her up. So in this situation where he clearly knew it was in place, if you then v recklessly violate the terms of the order, and each order could be different, okay, um, then you can get prosecuted, you can get charged with violating a temporary protection order. And now the bill moves on to the House. Moves on to the House. Uh, we have some work to do over there, um, but hopefully we can get it through and, and get this done as soon as possible. State Senator Kevin Bacon, thanks so much for your time. Thank and you. you can find the very latest on the update to Senator Bacon's domestic protection order bill on our social media channels. That's at Ohio Senate GOP. Also on the website, that's OhioSenate.gov front slash Republicans. I'm John Fortney from the Ohio Senate.